Hello everyone, I thought I would take a minute and show you a new pricing tier setup that we have, or a feature that we have, that allows you to set multiple pricing levels for your collection for anything that's for sale. So if you go down to the commerce and the pricing, you'll see that there's this uh, little button here called pricing tier. So we can go ahead and click the pricing tier. And what we can do is we can make additional pricing tiers here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make wholesale. And we're going to take a percentage off, 25% off all animals that are currently for sale. So what is going to happen when I hit this save is it's going to create another price set for every animal that's for sale, 25% off its current regular price. And we're going to mark that as active. So I'm going to hit save changes. So it's run through all the animals now and it's created uh, a discount level. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the discount level we want to look at here, apply the one that I just made, and here it is here. So this now has a price 25% off everything that was for sale. So now we can go ahead and we can modify these numbers because the first set or the first time you do it, it does the calculations for you. You may want to adjust these a little bit um, uh, before you do anything with them. So then what we'll do is, and you can have multiple pricing tiers here. Uh, you could have a um, uh, super discount level and that's 50% off every animal and we're gonna save changes and what will happen now is we've still got this wholesale column but we would go and select this super discount column so that we can start editing those ones and here we go so there we go every price now is uh, super discounted but the regular price is still always there right uh, so we're gonna make sure that these are for sale and they are gonna show in my store okay sounds good so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the price list and this is how we're gonna utilize this uh, this price list here so we've already selected that we're using super discount and that was done on the previous page and we've got the regular price so now when you go to print your price list you can actually turn off the regular price and just show the super discount price or you could show both prices when you go to print the price list so we'll go ahead and hit print and there we go shows the sale the regular sale price and the super discount price Okay, and again, you can send this via email, you can download it, um, you can do whatever you want. We will be updating this price list view to make it look a little uh, a little more modern, uh, but that's uh, the next step of this procedure. But this now is live and ready for everybody to use. Hope you enjoy this feature. This is kind of like an encore here, which I forgot to add. Uh, if you go to your store, uh, you can then scroll down here to your discount price enabled, and you can turn that on or off, right? So we would go ahead and turn that on, and then we would select the wholesale, hit apply. So now what we'll do, what that will do is it will have the pricing for your store now set to this discount price. Everything else will be crossed out. So basically you can run... Um, specials anytime you want so if you want to do it for the weekend update all your prices run the special for the weekend there's the price and away you go okay uh we're going to be rolling this out to a few other areas too where you can use it um in your uh, api feeds and things like that if you use those uh, but we're going to be working uh, on this going forward to make it even more robust okay i hope you enjoy